this looks like a job for Superman. Hey guys, Res the Collector here with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Infinite Crisis Superman figure. Uh, now this is the single carded figure. There is a variant of this with battle damage that came in a four set. Uh, now let's go ahead and get a nice 360 view of him before we start the actual review. He does have a black mark on his cape. I think I can get that off. I just haven't had time to do that yet. Uh, and he is from the Christmas haul. So I am quite a bit behind. I'm trying to get caught up and getting all these guys done. Now, as you can see, he has a rather uh, unique pose to him. And that's what a lot of people don't like about this particular figure. Is he is basically made to be in a flight pose and he's made to be used with his stand uh, now unfortunately like most of the accessories in this these uh, the figure haul I got he did not come with his stand now it is something I probably pick up later another time um, but as for now I've got him flying in the case with the suction cup and fishing line trick uh, and he looks pretty good that way but a lot of people don't like this guy just really strictly for that reason because there's really not much you can do with him. And you can see I've got him standing here, but this is it. This is the only way you're going to get him standing, and he is not easy to stand. Uh, basically, you've got to get him perfect, and then leave him alone, and he'll stand. Uh, you can see here where the, the body is sculpted. He's sculpted to kind of be made to be up in air like this. Um, and it, well, he's in a when he's when you got him in a flight pose, um, be it with the stand or uh, the way I have it rigged. I mean, he looks very cool. It's it's a very cool looking figure because I mean, you can you know get him and you know get him in a nice flight pose. I mean, that's that's awesome looking. I mean, the way the body is sculpted, his arm does look like it's extended. His chest is is you know extending and pulling up with that arm. Um, this is basically the best, well, I'd, I'd say right there with that Jim Lee uh, Superman from Hush or from the Superman Through the Ages set, who's meant to be flying. Uh, this is, I mean, really nice. is one of the best made-for-flying figures that you're going to find out there. Uh, now, if you you don't have figures flying, you don't like that, um, he's probably not going to be a Superman that's going to be high on your list. And honestly, he wasn't high on mine because of this very fact, because he basically is oddly sculpted for anything but flying. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and just take a look overall. Very nice paint applications, very crisp. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, the S is very, very nice. Uh, the blue is that beautiful royal blue. Um, the, the face paint is great. I mean, you can see that that grimace there, um, and each one of those teeth individually in there, his eyes. Now I got a little mark on the face, I'm not sure if that's actually supposed to be there, I need to take a closer look and find out, or if that's just a mark I can get off. Um, but the reds are vibrant, the blues are vibrant, the yellows are vibrant. It's an extremely well painted figure. Uh, I do love the way the, the cape is billowed out and there's, there's really no wrinkles in this one because uh, he's flying, supposed to be flying pretty quickly, I'm assuming, and, you know, it's just, it's out there like, almost like wings. Um, he does have a very crisp yellow S in the back. Uh, it is, it is on there, and you can, it's meant to, you can, like, see the cape through the outline there, and it is red. Um, very nice wrinkles here. It does come just a little bit below the neck, uh, kind of like halfway between... Uh, a standard which is going to be tight at the neck and like an Alex Ross style which is going to come down to here. Now, like I said, the overall look at the figure, um, if you're going to have him in a flight pose, is great. He does have that just angry concentrated look on his face. The face sculpt is very nice. The muscle sculpture, again, is very, very nice. Um, whoever did this it really studied the anatomy of someone who would be in this position the way that this side here just is elongated, the way this side is crunching down so that we can get that that pose where he's, you know, just flying through the air and getting ready to go. 
Now for articulation, his head does go up, down, left, and right to a decent degree. Um, because of the flight pose, I wish his head would go up just a little bit more, but you can get him, uh, if he's like this, then that, that's a pretty good, uh, that's pretty good for back there, and, and then he's looking straight up in the flying pose. Uh, and then, of course, the down and the side to side. Now, his arms, he does have a ball joint for his shoulder. Um, really, though, I mean, you're not going to have him really like this. Well, I suppose you could, but uh, I think for most people, it's going to be that, that straight flying pose. Uh, his other arm, again, it is ball jointed. Um, of course, there's no bicep rotation. We do have the elbow, and of course, we do have wrist rotation. There is no waist rotation, um, waist crunch, or just rotation at the waist. And then, of course, we do have the legs, and they go out really far. So, for flight posing, uh, if you've got him either on his the stand he came with, or doing something like I do. Um, you can get his legs into a good pose. Uh, he does not have any thigh articulation. He does have knee, and he does have ankle rockers. Um, mine, I'm not sure about all of them, but mine are very tight. So he really does get a good look on him. You can see the, you know, the boots pointed back, and you can get that good flying pose. Now, of course, you can see on the back here where he does have the plug hole uh, to go on one of the standard DC flight stands at the time, uh, just like the Jim Lee looking uh, Superman from Hush or Superman Through the Ages. Um, now, he came out in 2007, so he's a bit of an older figure. Um, definitely one that comes up quite a bit. I think uh, it comes up quite a bit because people don't appreciate the sculpt. Uh, so he comes up quite a bit, and he, he's not that expensive. So definitely, if this is one that you're looking up, if you've got uh, some dynamic displays going on with your figures, great one to pick up. Really, really nice, because uh, he does. He looks wonderful in that flying pose. All right, one last good 360. There's that black mark you can see again. I'm going to try and get that off. Um, again, with the sculpting, the legs look really nice. Uh, the wrinkles here... And the boots are very, very nice looking. So definitely, I mean, if you want something, that, a guy that's going to look great flying, uh, this is going to be the figure for you. Again, he's a Infinite Crisis Superman. Uh, he came out in 2007. Very easy to pick up. I see him all the time on eBay. And uh, that's going to go ahead and do it for this review. Uh, I am getting down to the last few figures in that Christmas haul, at least for the Superman ones. I still have all of the figures that were non-Superman that I haven't reviewed. Uh, I've got four more figures from that haul of Superman coming after this. Uh, and then we're going to be finished with that, at least with the Superman ones. I will eventually get to the rest of them, the non-Supermans. But, but I do have some other things I want to review first. Uh, the Superman Man vs. Machine statue, the full size, I just got that in. Uh, and I also just got in the Superman Last Son. Now, I got the, the Bizarro with this set, and that's really what made me want to get him, is after I got that Bizarro, I saw how great that Bizarro figure was. I definitely wanted that Last Son. So all of that's going to be coming up. Um, after I get done with the, the Christmas Hall ones, I'm going to go ahead and do another review preview with all my new stuff that's going to be coming up. All right, guys, again, this is Res the Collector. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, go ahead and click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment. I do like to hear from everybody. And I do want to thank everybody for your support and watching the videos. And you guys have a great night.